Hello everyone and welcome to your channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about a different type of loading in ETABs that uh, we call the trapezoidal loads, you know. At first, let's get it started, but uh, I want to show that uh, the different type of loading on beams, you know. Suppose that we have a girder beam. I apologize drawing you know and this is uniform loading on our beam the value is the same but suppose that we have the same beam with this type of loading from here to here we have no loading but in this area we have loading we call it trapezoidal and suppose that again this is our beam and we have a type of loading like this triangular or it can be like this we call all of this loading all of three loadings as trapezoidal load in ETABs and we call this as a uniform loading you know let's uh, see all of this loading in ETABs now we want to assign all of those loadings in on beams in ETABs suppose that this is uh, the beam that we're going to assign load on it uh, I want to know the length of that. The length is 6.1 and the half of that is 3.05. Okay, I assign that and uh, I select that I from the assign menu, frame loads, uh, sorry, assign menu, frame loads and distributed. You see, I assign a uniform load on it. For example, 0 0.724 per meter. Okay, let's see that from display load assigned frame and dead load. Let me check that display load assigned frame apply. You see, this is our load. You know, we call it a uniform load. And now I want to assign a trapezoidal load on it. At first I delete this load. I select this beam and from assign frame load distributed. I delete existing load, you know, and again from add to existing load, I chose trapezoidal loads. You see and then i chose absolute distance from i you know did uh, from distance zero the load uh, i want to choose the load zero and from uh the center of the line our distance is 3.05 i want to choose a load 0.7 you see and uh from sorry from 3.05 i want to choose at zero and again zero 3.05 it's uh 0 0.7 and in 6.1 uh, i want to choose that uh 0 0.7 again let's check it out this p you see this is another trapezoidal loads and I, I want to delete this load and assign another one and I want to delete, delete this load again now this beam has no loading
okay i want to choose the type of load as super load sdl i named it uh let's get started uh now i want to uh assign a uh, triangular loads let's get started from the i chose uh, this beam again from the distance zero it's the load is zero and from distance 6.1 the load is uh, suppose that 0 0.5 you can see that this is our load this is our trapezoidal loads 0 and uh, 0 0.5 this is this is triangular you know that was our tutorial everybody about trapezoidal load in etaps and i hope you all enjoy it and if you like it please subscribe the channel to motivate me to create more videos for you thank you everybody thank you very much